Hey man, it's Ricky Guapo in this bit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm here with my dog. Good vibes out here, man. In Tampa, Florida, moved around a lot. Born in Seattle, raised in Tampa type shit. Tampa, it's a big, small city. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody know everybody. It's a it's a certain type of culture out here. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody got their own thing going on. I can't even really say the people. It's more so the environment. You still see all the similarities from like Tampa to Orlando, Tampa, Miami, Miami, Jacksonville. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel me? Everybody got their own thing going on. It's still similar. Like it's different, but it's similar. So I'm trying to like go hang out, go parlay, go slide to Ebor. Feel me? Seventh Avenue. That's what everything at you know what i'm saying if you're trying to do something outside of that you can slide to soho it's like bars and shit out there too but everybody being evil two brothers you know little sister or whatever <laughs> hey man shit i done got my fair share of ass with this man i was a i was a chill kid still used to get my ass with stuff for sure uh, school was straight, you know what I'm saying? Cool kid, feel me? Cool with everybody type shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knew me, I knew everybody. Class clown too, you know what I'm saying? But I stayed school. When I was like 16, yeah, when I was like 16, some of the homies used to rap and shit. And like, I always been around music, you know what I'm saying? Since I was a kid, you know, my cousins used to rap too. Being in high school, I was like, fuck it. I finna just learn how to rap. Try to see what I could do with this shit. You know, everybody rapping, so let me do it too. I never really wanted to like be a rapper when I was growing up. Like originally, you know what I'm saying? I always wanted to like make clothes. I wanted to be a DJ and I wanted to make clothes as well. You feel me? I never really thought I would end up being a rap type shit. When I was a kid, I used to like, I used to think working at like Foot Locker was the coolest shit ever. You got all the shoes and shit up in there, feel me? That shit used to be cool as hell. Yeah, you get older and you like, shoes ain't even worth it. When I recorded my first song, like, that shit was kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I was very, I ain't had no enthusiasm. I didn't really know how to record. I just knew how to like just rap a song type shit. You know what I'm saying? It was cool, you know? I was in high school and shit. So people was just fucking with it. Wasn't nobody really rapping like that, like that. But it was cool. It was cool for his time. That's what I saw. My homies was just like, keep going. That shit hard. Like, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Here we are today. Still doing this. Shit. My first full length tape is Hot Boy 2. And then I put out the Hot Boy EP. The Hot Boy Summer. Yeah, Hot Boy 1. It was like an EP. So I guess that's like my first project. It's like, Five songs. And then Hot Boy 2 is like a full length tape. Wayne and the Hot Boys, Cash Money, like big inspirations as well. It was just a different time, you know what I'm saying? I feel like now, you know what I'm saying, with the internet and everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything is always going to repeat itself. Being authentic is kind of hard, but it's all about how you make certain work out for you, you know what I'm saying? And be yourself with that own type of swag, you know what I'm saying? Take whatever as an inspiration and just pretty much put your own swag behind it. Cloud rap, it was actually a big thing because, you know, niggas used to listen to ASAP like, rock and shit, you know what I'm saying? It was cool. I feel like it kind of paved the way for, like, it was just some chill music, you know what I'm saying? Cloud rap is just some chill shit. That's how I kind of see it. Niggas always used to be on, like, hot new hip-hop and that piff downloading music, downloading mixtape. I've always been, had my ear to, like, the underground music, and, like, I used to listen to a lot of 3-6 Mafia as well, so I always, just always been, had my ear to, to that shit. Outside of rap, I fuck with, like, I fuck with jazz and, like, punk rock. Uh, I started making beats five, six years ago, and I was just, that came from really just looking up to like Metro and Southside, you know what I'm saying, watching them videos and just wanting to be like, damn, I want to produce my own shit. But that shit really gave me the motivation, and one of my homies put me on the FL, and it was a rap from there. Probably didn't start getting real good at making beats till probably like three, four years ago. When I'm sitting down making a beat, I already know what vibe I'm looking for. Say if it's a song I already got in my head, you know what I'm saying, I could be able to put that song to a beat, that's just by like putting it together type shit. And it's more organic as opposed to like grabbing a beat off of like YouTube or whatever. You got a master cadence of whatever that beat is. You know what I'm saying? A big thing I like with beats is bells. I love bells. And not just like the whole like yeet bell, not some shit like that. Nah, nah, I, I just like the sounds of bells you feel me on beats. Even when I make beats now, I use bells a lot. I produced like 10 songs on there. My boy Vern produced something on there. My boy AOA do something on there. And uh, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody else, but it was majority me. And it still took some time to do just because I just wanted everything to be perfect. Trying to get track outs, trying to go back, fix certain things, fix sounds and shit. It was, it was a process. It took like a year to... I spelled it like that because there's a group. It's an R&B group. Three females, or three women, I should say. Their name is Black. That was their group name. And I just thought it'd be real cool to like, name a project that it just made sense. And I didn't want to spell it the same way and just do something different type shit. The reason for the name is just, you know, the same thing. Like Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they dye their hair one color and then they go back to themselves. They become a better person overall. You feel me? And that's just where I'm at with it. Or that's what it means to me, I should say. Just going back to my roots. You feel me? Putting it together. I was in Atlanta in January. You know what I'm saying? I was with my manager. That same week. 
week I was out there, some of the homies from back home, some producers, uh, shout out to Key Cartel, a lot of them, they was out in Atlanta that same week. So I ended up kicking it with them like my last day in Atlanta. And then we came back home, my homie 22 from Key Cartel, he sent me like a pack of beats. And then I was like, yeah, nah, this is it. As soon as he sent me that pack, I was like, we going to the studio immediately. Finna get, get, get it recorded and get it working. 10 songs, there's five features on there, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's been fun putting it together, honestly. It's been real fun. I just really want people to just hear me, listen to the vibe, turn up, listen to this shit when you finna go to party, listen to this shit when you sliding around at night, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoy it, have fun listening to it because I have fun making it, you know what I'm saying? I definitely plan on doing a few shows. I just opened up for Valet. That was the beginning of this month. The show was crazy. I'm saying I'm gonna drop the recap for this like next week or some shit. It's a big difference. It's just like a lot of growth. Hot Boy 1, Hot Boy 2, you know what I'm saying? Those tapes are hard. They're cool. Party music, you know what I'm saying? Same thing. But cool, but kind of basic to a certain extent. Just an older, older me, you feel me? You just, you, you gotta grow in music. If you're not growing, you won't be able to progress. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the best thing, honestly, was just going to Atlanta and like, you know, meeting Thousand Man Funny. Like, that's probably like the best thing music we brought in so far. And being able to like travel off of music, those two things for sure. I got a few inspirations, really. Wayne, of course, Lil Wayne, shit. I used to listen to Tiger a lot when I was in high school and shit. Tupac, Chief Keef, Gucci, you feel me? Those like a lot of my inspirations for our music. Wayne, Wayne was the GOAT. Between Wayne and Gucci, they, they the GOATs, you know what I'm saying? Looking at Young Thug, that's probably like my biggest ad admiration, you feel me? Cause it's like, do something bigger for his people, you know what I'm saying? Put all his people and his friends, his close friends in position. That's like the coolest shit ever to me, you know what I'm saying? To be able to put your friends in position off of just making music. Everybody ain't doing shit like that. Yeah, I, I got a lot of friends, you know, close friends around me that make music, you know, and I just want to do what I can to make, you know, make sure they straight. One of my biggest milestones is just to, you know, put on for my people and put my people in position to be able to just do whatever it is they want to do, you know what I'm saying, in order for them to be successful, you know what I'm saying, whether it's music, or real estate, or fucking just anything, you know what I'm saying, as long as it's something positive. And I just want to change people's lives with this shit, you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, man, so Perms, you know, I launched the brand last year. Um, I was working on it like towards the end of 2020, beginning of 2021. The way the name came about, one of my homies, you know, one of my homies who skate, shout out to my dog Tom Backwood, he was trapping it up. I was telling him I wanted to shoot a, you know, a skate video. He wanted to call it Permanent Gold. That should be the name for it. And I was like, damn, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? Such a Florida shit. That's when I really sat down with it. This was like 2020. Like I thought about it for like days, days. That's when I really came up with the name for the company, for the brand. I was just like, dang, like Perms, that's hard. And it's just, it rolls off the tongue like, well, you feel me? And it all just makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Florida culture, perms, the gold teeth and shit. Also, you know what I'm saying? Perms is short for permanent. You know what I'm saying? Permanent is forever. That's how it came about. So shout out to my dog, Tom Back. Oh, hell yeah. Got to. Got to. I know. It's an investment, low key. <laughs> but, you know, I would have to get perms, you know what I'm saying? The company called perms. I got to get perms. Got to. Oh, yeah. That's my homie's brand. My homie, uh, Fat Geechee my dog for real. I model a lot for a lot of his clothes and stuff. Um, and his clothes have been going crazy. You know, everybody shop at Fuck em Worldwide. Go follow Fuck em, Everything. Support my dog. You know, everybody been played Tony Hawk and shit. I'm saying everybody went to try skateboarding. I just fucked around and got bored one <laughs> one year and was just like, man, let me go learn how to skate for real. Like, let me go see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Just because that's just something I wanted to do, I always wanted to do. So I was like, fuck it, let me go learn. I met so many cool people, you know what I'm saying? And, the skate community cool as fuck, everybody's just cool. My thought was never to really like, just make skateboards in the first place. Like I just wanted to learn how to skate. But over time, you know what I'm saying? Once I really started making merch, my song Bear Margella came out. So I made skateboards for that. People loved them, you know what I'm saying? And that's what made me really want to make skateboards more and just really make a skate company. If it ever came down to it, I definitely want to have like my own store, you know what I'm saying? Out here in the city or whatever. Out here in Tampa, Tampa's a big skate city, you know what I'm saying? Like we be having Tampa Pro and Tampa Am out here over at the skate park of Tampa. So like, it's real big out here. Culture's real big out here. So it wasn't really weird for me. Shoot, I, I seen just as many black people as I did white people skate. It, it was all, it's a very diverse community out here. Shit, I'm still learning. Cause, you know what I'm saying? It's all about consistency. You know what I'm saying? If I spent more time skating than rapping, I'll probably be decent right now. You feel me? <laughs> Fucking <you>. zero. 
you know the one. <laughs> nah, but it's all good. It's all really fun for me, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, I just want to transition more into like filming, put out a skate video one day. I watch a lot of skate videos too, so like just the clips, the angles, like that shit is hard. And like, I want to like do that shit one day soon, one day soon. I just tell people, you know what I'm saying? Anything you do, just make sure you be yourself. Have fun doing it, you know what I'm saying? If it's a goal you're trying to attain, just stay consistent and then just don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going, keep going and just, you know what I'm saying? What's the, what's the turn, what's the, uh, what's the saying? Ride that bitch to the wheels, gonna come off, you feel me? Like, don't give up, straight up. Shit. If I ain't really rapping or working on clothes, um, I'm like making beats or like shit, playing the game or some chill shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just regular shit, watching TV. Watching shows. Lately, I've been playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima. That shit fire. That shit raw as fuck. It's like the samurai game. That shit too crazy. I'm almost done with that bit. I'm on like third act. That shit raw. That shit raw as hell. I don't even feel like it's too many like multiplayer games anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything is like open world solo game type shit. I feel like all the uh, multiplayer games now is like shit like 2K, Madden. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't play 2K no more, fuck 2K. I'm, I'm starting to get back into Madden, you know what I'm saying? My brother got me playing Madden again. Yeah, bro, fuck 2K. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared on that, bro. I've been playing 2K my whole life, fuck 2K. And the games be on some bullshit, man. I don't even, I'd be ready to throw my controller playing 2K, man. Okay, I'll just be watching. I, I mainly watch movies. The last good movie I just watched called Blow. It's with Johnny Depp. Good ass movie. Good ass movie. Based on the true story, so 10 out of 10. Oh, hell yeah, definitely. Acting, modeling, for sure, for sure. If I was acting, I feel like the first go around, I'd probably be, uh, but I feel like if I come back for like a second film or whatever, I'd be fine, that shit. My favorite food, she, I like wings. I go cap, I like wings. The lemon pepper steppers, man, the drums. <laughs> yeah, My favorite strand, black runs. That shit is crazy, the shit. Nugs is dark. Break it down, it's all purple and shit. That shit be high as hell, man. Ah, uh, I used to smoke backwards and I stopped smoking backwards to smoke papers. So like, just off the strength of that, I'm at the pit paper. But every now and then, I definitely roll up the backwood. Good back. Black out now, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Go get that. Shout out to Key Cartel, you know what I'm saying? All the homies. Shout out to everybody that's on the project, involved in the project. Shout out to my dog, so man. Um, man, you know what I'm saying? Just stay tuned for the next, next little project coming out.